Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Tutorial. This is Yong from SG Audio Hive. Okay, so we have a set of uh, resin IEM uh, with a pin loose. This is uh, from C Audio, the Kaguya uh, from the C Audio. Okay, we take a look at the pin right here. It's actually expanded. So, as you can see, uh, it just does this. It's very, very loose. Okay, so for tightening of uh, such uh, issue, we are talking about flush connectors. Uh. So, flush meaning the connector is not recessed. So, it's not uh, going downwards, it's, it's a flat connector. Okay, uh, the tools actually we are going to use, you may not believe it. We have to identify, uh, there are two C's. Uh. Okay. Zoom in in post here. Uh, the connectors are, for this type of connector, is two C's barrel so they are expanded we want to close them up and use resin to fill up the gap okay so how do we close them up first we need to find the the expanded side okay so for the bottom pin right uh is this direction and for the top pin is the other direction so we will use a needle to try to get uh try to get into the gap and we will, we will knock it in so for example this hanger okay for odd shaped stuff uh, better to use a blue tag to clamp it down because you can hold it uh, whatever shape it is. Okay, so back to finding the... Once you find the gap, you can actually use the grip of the needle to pull it in. As you can see, we have uh, pulled in one of the pin. So this is the top one. This is actually smaller than here. So... <clears throat> A lot of time the resin, the, the, the connector itself is not flush against the resin, it's actually slightly below. So the resin is sits above. So if you have this situation, you can use a pair of a sharp knife to slice off the, the resin. Okay, so we'll do the same for the pin here. We'll find a gap. You pull it in. If you cannot find a gap, right, just uh, place it near the edge and use the a mallet or hammer in this case to slowly knock it so that it's closer. Okay, so there will be gaps uh, when you do this. Uh, we will fill the gap in with resin. So what it does is uh, it prevents the connector from opening up again. Okay. We will use the needle to spread around the resin. Just be careful not to pour the resin into the center of the pin. Okay. 
Okay, and uh, once we got everything we want, uh, we will just cure. Okay, so this is the simple steps uh, for a flush uh, two pin alignment adjustment uh, to be tighter. There are other situations uh, in the case that the pin has sunken in. Uh, the, those we have to do a replacement. Uh, you can you can't just do an alignment. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.